Data collected in the 1970s showed that a healthy coral reef ecosystem thrived in the waters of Full Bay, Umatic. But in the years between 1988 and 1990, construction changed everything. Roadwork caused hundreds of tons of sediment to wash into the ocean. Corals were smothered, killed, and a colorful reef habitat, once flourishing with populations of fish, became desolate and lifeless. project is a community effort to restore Guam's watersheds, coral reefs, and fisheries. And it started in 2002 when fishermen from the village noticed that they weren't catching the same size and quality of fish. Accelerated erosion was the main environmental concern in the watershed. Erosion leads to sedimentation on coral reefs, which uh, smothers corals and blocks out sunlight, essential for their growth and survival. And without coral reefs, uh, we have no protection for uh, from storms um, because the reefs act as those buffer zones or barriers from those big waves and uh, without the reefs also we lose our, our fish from that area. One way the Umatic project tries to achieve its goals is by reaching out to the community. On November 3rd, 2012, Austin Shelton organized the Umatic Watershed Adventure. It was designed to get students, teachers, and members of the community out into the environment. We had about 160 participants. Most of them were from the marine biology classes from GW, Simon Sanchez, and the JFK High Schools. From the top of the watershed, we moved down and we hiked into Fua Bay, which is a really culturally significant site in Chamorro folklore. That's the site where civilization began. When we were there, we talked about stream ecology. We showed how fish use the rivers in our watersheds to spawn and then they go back into the ocean. And we talked about the scientific research that I'm doing as part of my PhD program. We're measuring sedimentation rates in the bay. And then we talked about the cultural significance of the bay. We had a, a whole bunch of great speakers that came down. If for probably 95% of the people there, that was the first time they ever went to Fua Bay. It's a beautiful place in our island, and I was really happy that everybody got to see it. The Umatic Project is just one example of a local effort to not only replenish the environment, but to prevent further degradation as well. A strength of this project is the attention it pays to community outreaching, its conscious decision to include all those who are willing and able. A chance to contribute should not be limited to the academics or to the elite. We all in some way have played a hand in harming the environment, so it's only right we all pitch in to heal it.